All right, this is January 2014, question 10A. It says, in the diagram below, not drawn to scale, O is the center of the circle, the lines SK and AF are parallel, um, and the KSW is 62 degrees, um, and angle SAF is 54 degrees. We're asked to calculate Given reasons for your answer, the measure of I angle FAW. We're asked to determine the measure of angle FAW. That's this angle here. Angle SFAW. All right. It's sort of not as difficult to find if you can appreciate that um, the angle at A, this entire angle here is 90 degrees. And the reason for that is because it's an angle in a semicircle. So um, I could therefore say that, um, all right, so in answering my question, I probably could start out by saying that um, angle S A W is equal to 90 degrees. And it's an angle in a semi circle. So, therefore, I can say then that angle FAW, which is this part of the angle, would be equal to 90 minus 54, and this is equal to 36 degrees. And the FAW is equal to 36 degrees. And the reason is because the, the entire angle S, SAW is 90 degrees. It's an angle in a semicircle. Then we're asked to find um, angle SKF. Angle SKF. That's this angle here. And it's also not difficult to find or to determine. Because um, ASKF is a cyclic quadrilateral. ASKF is a cyclic quadrilateral. And opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So this angle here plus this angle here plus the 54 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. So I can say, um, um, double I, that angle um, S. K F would be equal to S K F would be equal to one eighty minus um fifty four and so the reason for that is that there are what opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. They're opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. So angle SKF would be equal to 126 degrees. So this angle here is 126 degrees. All right, um, and the third and last thing, the third and last angle that we're asked to find, we're asked to determine the measure of angle S, sorry, ASW. We need to determine the measure of angle ASW, that's this angle here. All right, and I'm gonna call it, um, so well, I can just leave it, I don't want to call it anything. Now, what I can note is that these two lines here, um, AF and um, AF and SK are parallel lines. So the line SA or AS is a transversal, and this angle here and the 54 degrees are co-interior angles. So co-interior angles are angles between the parallel lines um, on the same side of a transversal. And co interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So, therefore, I can say that um, one, two, three, these three angles 
the 62 or this under here which is 62 plus let's say theta so 62 plus theta plus the 54 must add up to 180 degrees they are co-interior angles so um what is it triple i we get um angle s sorry a s w angle a s w would be equal to 180 minus um 62 plus 54 and the reason for that is that they are cool interior angles all right and that's coming from parallel lines cut by a transversal um so this is 180 minus um what is this 100 and 116 minus 116 and so this is 60 Four degrees. So angle S A W is sixty-four degrees. So this angle here is sixty-four degrees. Alright? So that's the end of the question.